Spencer Parker. How you doing today? Great, Chad. Pleasure to meet you. I tell you what, this time of year when it's too hot to sit in a bass boat, catching fish and moving water is the place to go. It's really blown up the past few years, absolutely, and the kayak selection is amazing now. I mean, you can go from $200 kayak up to four or $5,000 kayak. It's a blast. It really is. So do you guys have people that will assist strictly fishermen now? If a person comes out and says, hey, I'd like to take a float and I really want to focus on fishing, you guys have people that can help them out with that. Absolutely. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just a, just an average Joe. I'm not a professional fisherman. Mm -hmm. I have a passion for fishing and I have a passion for kayaks that I love talking to people about kayaking and fishing. Well, you live in a good part of the state to have a passion for fishing and kayaking because I tell you, the Elkhorn Creek, it is legendary for fishing. You can't hardly beat a smallmouth, especially in moving water. There he is. Got him now? I think so. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's not a bad fish. No. Oh, they're so much fun. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Not a very big fish. That thing came out of the water three feet. Yeah, and he was stripping drag too, wasn't he? Boy, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> it sure didn't take that little uh, tiny brush hog long. There you go. Oh! He wanted it too, because when he hit it. it, he took off and gave me an aerial show. Did you see that? <laughs> awesome. There you go, baby. Thank you. Guarantee you, he's got a belly full of crawfish. Uh-huh. I think it was the second cast in there, and he just popped it. Put on a show. You know, this looks like a really good spot. We've got moving water and it's deep enough to hold a fish. We ought to be able to catch a fish here. Oh, here we go. A little bit smaller fish, but he wanted that one of the jigs. They got some fight to them, don't they? Boy, don't they? <laughs> Tell you what, it's super fun catching these jokers. Whoop. He wanted back in. Don't eat my smallmouth. Get out of here. You know, Spencer, this is a little bit unique. Anytime that you're fishing, on a creek in the state of Kentucky, if you're standing on the bottom, you're on somebody's property, you're trespassing. But Franklin County have actually passed some legislation that allows you to fish this, right? Yeah, as long as you gain access with permission or by public means, then yeah, you can wade anywhere in the water. Here we go. Oh yeah, got a jumper. He likes a little 13 inch smallie. There he is. You know, targeting these areas right before you get into these riffles and right on the outside of the riffles. Man, if you're gonna only fish certain spots on a four mile run, that's where you that's want to That's where look. you want to be, yes sir. Nice little pretty smallmouth. Look how big and wide these tails are on these fish. For a fish that size, that's where the power comes, right there. Very healthy, very strong. Beautiful smallie. Got him. I got one too, little guy. <laughs> you know, when you get to a spot like this, what makes these spots so good is the reason those fish are sitting here, that's because they're feeding. And that's where the bait is getting pulled. There's fish out here all over, but the fish that are really wanting to eat and make it easy, they're sitting right there. Congregating right there in that spot. They know where to go. <laughs> in these rapids again, we've only caught like one or two fish today that were not right in the current. There he is. Felt like he's a little better, but I can't tell in this current. <laughs> <laughs> That might be a red eye. Nope. Nope. Small mouth. Oh, quick release. I always put a smile on my face. <laughs> Every time. No matter if they're big or little. Now, if they get real big, the smiles get a little bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they're always fun. Yeah. Had a friend of mine went to church with when I was about 12 years old, and uh, he invited me to go out to the game farm. I remember picking up a cheap little, gosh, it wasn't even a Zebco, like one of them little Shakespeare, whatever, and going out to the game farm with him, and uh, all it took was that first fish, uh, first fish, and I was hooked, no pun intended. 30 years later and thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. You want to stop and get out and cast that down from here, or what do you want to do? We can. It looks like a good spot. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, there he is. There you go. A little bit better. That's a good fish. Nice job, man. It's getting ready to get good. <laughs> right here. I just got hammered. 
Oh, just got hammered again. Got it. Here we go. About 13 inches, 12 inches. It's all about finding this moving water. There he is. Got it? Little guy. You got one up out of the current there. Yep. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, Spencer, this has been a blast. You can come out here and, you know, bring small soft plastics or small spinner baits. You can even fly fish and catch them. Oh, yeah. We're very lucky in Kentucky to have as many creeks and streams that we've got. And if you're thinking about getting into fishing or you're a fisherman and you're just looking for more access to more water, this is the way to do it, isn't it? I have owned a couple of bass boats. I've owned a big pontoon boat. And if 10 years ago you had told me that I would be fishing exclusively out of a kayak, I would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's so much fun. Like you said, you gain access to places you can't in a big boat. And it, there's something about being in a kayak out here in nature. You know, in the way that we use these kayaks today, we use the kayaks in a way to get us to the good spots, which was moving water. There he is. Get these jokers back in. All right. There they go. Yeah. 